Well, Madison's been up since about 6.30 a.m. It's now 9 a.m. We're officially up. Thank you, Madison. Happy one month, Madison! Yay! She's drunk. She's milk drunk. Milk. Uh, we did it again. We left her. Bad now we left her behind. It's all right. We are going on a date. This is our first date. Let's see how long it's gonna be. It will be home all right, like so an hour and a half. So let's put it this way: for any <laughs> for any new mommies or mommies that breastfeed or exclusively pump to give milk for their child, um, it like stresses you out because you're like, all right, I'm gonna be away from my kid. You gotta time it out. How many bottles we need? So I've been timing out since last night. I was trying to keep track of how many bottles can I keep in the fridge. That's right. So I had three. So I was like, all right, three bottles, three hours in between. We're good. I'm going to have formula the just in case. We I haven't given her give formula her since she was born. No, that's right. We well, haven't the given first week we The did. first week we did, but then... I wasn't producing So about yet. three weeks, yeah. Three weeks we haven't given her formula, and that's pretty good. Yeah. So we need to learn how to manage our time and leave and make sure we get everything before we go. We went downstairs, yeah. we're ready to go, and guess who forgets to put deodorant on? <laughs> so she runs back upstairs and goes to put deodorant on. I get to the car, put the baby in the car, and she comes back downstairs and I said, babe, my phone. So guess who ran back upstairs to get her phone? Well, get my phone. <laughs> then we get in the car finally, we're driving up the block, and she, at the corner. At the corner of the block, and she goes, oh, I forgot something. Damn it! So I reverse all the way back down the block, and she forgot a piece of the pump so she can pump while we're out. It's been a hectic morning so far, <laughs> and we we just now dropped the baby off, and we're just now leaving. And it is now 12.34, and I think we've been out the house since 12. Not too bad. <sighs> we, and now we have another 45-minute drive to where we're going. Also... This morning, we took her one month old shots because she is officially, according to her, one month old. I Where, as I said last Thursday, she was one month old already. <laughs> so she is one month old times two. This is the line, but still, this is a nice line here. Well, she's taking selfies. So we're here at Black Tap. Uh, it's a place where they have a whole bunch of milkshakes and great food, apparently. Can't wait to try it. Are you excited? Actually, I am. So we've only been waiting for a half an hour, which is not too bad. I'm getting, I'm getting very hungry. Still waiting online. Thank you. Awesome. 
you go. Thank you. Great. Finally got our food. What'd you get there, babe? Blackout. Two blackouts? Yeah. One blackout here, one blackout there. I got this big old cookie thing. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. Let me send one more. Holy mackerel. I got something called the blackout. So we just finished eating, well we didn't just finish, but we finished eating at Black Tap. Uh, food was good, milkshakes were amazing. I have mine to go right here in the cup holder. So while we're eating, Jay gets a, a notification from Twitter. Twitter. I'm on Twitter. And okay. guess who tweets that he needs help? Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat. Anyone in Far Rockaway have a Phantom 4? Question mark, question mark. I need to borrow your propellers. This was at 357. I wrote back immediately because we were at Black Tap where he would be, coincidentally. He, he works like four or five minutes from Black Tap and we were in the city like, hey, let's just go find him. We didn't what, think that. What are the chances that he's in Queens now and we're not in Queens? Literally, not too far from you, where you, we live. My heart hurts, honestly. My heart really does hurt. Like, yeah. I could have met him, he's amazing. Really oh, if you don't know who Casey Neistat is, look talented him up. Guy, real talented. Oh my God, look him up. We're stuck in traffic. Now we're stuck in. Uh, I'm trying to get to Far Rockaway. <laughs> I'll drive up and down Far Rockaway and look for him. He's gonna use his drone to look. For <laughs> I'm gonna no. use my drone. Pause. Not stalker status. <laughs> Well, we made it to Far Rockaway, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack to find Casey. They didn't write back, really heartbroken. We missed Casey, nice though. <laughs>